Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Matthew. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about how to form an HA uh, for Cisco WLC through a DNAC. Whenever you have a DNAC in your uh, network, that DNAC is supposed to be managing the entire devices end to end, right? So high availability is something uh, everyone is using these days commonly. And you, if you are planning to use DNAC for managing a wireless LAN controller, this video will help you to um, see how you can build that HA through a DNAC. So we'll cover uh, both the scenarios, AirOS and uh, iOS XC. So let's see uh, how uh, how we can do that. So this is my lab, and I have a DNAC here, and this DNAC is uh, running on 1337. So that's a uh, uh, release currently. This DNAC is on. I'm just talking about that release because um, with the releases, even the GUI will change. So don't get confused. This is applicable for 1337. And um, the way you are going to do it on the uh, newer releases or uh, lower releases will be different. So don't get confused. Uh, most of the time, the GUI will be uh, almost same uh, when you get into HA or anything like that. So we will uh, see that in detail uh, in this video. So I have multiple sites. I don't want to get into uh, these things for now. Uh, let's directly jump into the uh, HA forming uh, configuration side. So this is the uh, provision page. Um, in the provision page, you have to select uh, inventory under these devices. So uh, currently, uh, this is an inventory page. And by default, it will come under inventory page. And I selected India. And I also applied um, a WLC filter so that we will see only the filters here. I have multiple devices here. Let's uh, try to see what are the options available for the HA form. So let's see how how to form the HA um, on a uh, on a WLC. So I have multiple devices here. Um, then there are some requirements or prerequisites in the background so that we can form the HA, right? So for configuring the HA, you have to select the WLC. Uh, it can be any WLC. It can be AirOS. It can be iOS XT. Uh, any model, any platform, you can select that. Then you can uh, come here on actions. You have to just place the mouse pointer on top. Then go to provision, go to configure WLC HA. The minimum requirement for building an HA is uh, you need the same capable device on building the HA, right? So if you are looking for an HA on 5520, you need another 5520 in the background. If you are looking for an HA for um, 9800, you need the same flavor of 9800 on the other side. So here uh, we will see uh, what will happen if you don't have that combination. I'm going to click on this one. And you can see that this uh, DNAC is testing that in the background. Uh, it's doing that checking and it's finding out there is no platform matching this particular hardware type and you are not eligible to build the high availability. So uh, I just want to show that um, uh, here. You are going to see this error whenever uh, you have a mismatch on the platform and you are not eligible to form an HA. So that's the scenario. You don't have the uh, matching platform. Now we will go into iOS XC. So I'm going to click on this one and going to build an HA. So same path actions provision configure HA. so as you can see here dnac already figured out how many devices are available for forming an ha dnac will take the platform type so you can see this is uh, primary 9800 and you you are actually seeing uh, secondary 9800 so here uh, under this you can see all the wlc's that is available on dnac that is actually matching the requirement of the first primary. In the previous example, you saw that there is nothing matching with that platform. Here you can see we have um, four combinations. You can select any one of them, but um, yeah, you have to choose that. So this is 9800. Uh, just keep it in mind that this page will change on AirOS. I'll show you that example. But here, uh, this is for 9800. You can choose the primary interface. You can put the redundancy uh, management IP here for the primary. This is for secondary. Then you can put the subnet mask and you can click on configure HA. Once you click on this configure HA, it will push all the items required for building this HA and it will get rebooted. It will come back and join with the DNAC again. And you will see uh, this particular device in your DNAC once it's rebooted and uh, form the HA and join back to the uh, DNAC. So you can see that after some time. So I already have a uh, WLC that is already formed HA. So I will not go through that process. I'm not planning to share the 9800 GUI also here. 
but you just uh, because it's already done it's uh, time consuming one it's not adding much value on uh, how this is forming a chain all right so, so dnac will use all the inputs from this page it will use that input it will be configuring same set of commands on the wlc and you will get the ha up and running before we see the ha uh, how this one is reflecting on dnac let's see the difference between ios x the wlc and the uh, the AeroS WLC on the DNAC point of view. So you already seen uh, how this particular HA page is looking like uh, for iOS XE and there is a difference on AeroS here. So here in AeroS, you can see you have primary WLC and secondary WLC and you are just directly giving the redundancy management IP. But in iOS XE, you have an option to select the interface. But on the uh, AeroS, you don't have that option. So that's the uh, main difference on HA uh, forming from DNAC point of view. So you just uh, keep it in mind that based on your uh, based on your uh, platform type and OS type, uh, there will be a difference on the high availability page. Now let's go and see one WLC that is already formed in HA through uh, DNAC. And as you can see here. Uh, this particular WLC already form an HA, and uh, you can see here you have two WLCs, 9800 WLC 1 and 2. Uh, one is primary, another one is secondary. Then MAC address is this one, redundancy state is SSO, and sync status is complete. So, what I want to show here uh, once the HA is formed in the background, and after the reboot of the device, you will be clicking on the same thing but you will be getting an, a summary on this one so basically uh, this is the page you can actually uh, see the summary here so this is the same page you have to come uh, for breaking the ha so that's why i'm showing this example so once you uh, form the ha and if you reboot the wlc after the reboot uh, the wlc will come and join with the uh, dnac again and dnac will show like this and this is the place you have to go even if you want to break that HA, right? In any any other scenarios, you want to break an HA and split the uh, WLCs uh, again and put it on a different site or something. So in that case, this is the place you have to come again for disabling that HA. So if you want to break the SSO, you have to just click on this uh, disable HA, then it will just break it. This is the one place you have to, if you want to form an HA, if you want to break an HA, this is the place to do that. Now we know how to configure it, how to remove it, right? So uh, just want to show you one more thing. Just click on the WLC in inventory. Then you will get this page uh, with the basic details here. Then you have wireless info tab here. So wireless info tab will show that uh, this is under HASSO. So this is how you can see that information from inventory. So these are the things I want to cover here. Now uh, you should be able to build the HA, be it AeroS, be it uh, iOS XC. I, I didn't go on into the more uh, detailed uh, way of doing this. I just want to show you that uh, this is the way we use DNAC for creating an HA or breaking an HA or see the information about that device. So, so only thing you have to keep it in mind is uh, there is a minor difference between iOS XC and uh, AeroS WLC. You have to just select the interface, nothing else. And the uh, rest of the things will be taken care by Dina. It's always better to keep both the devices discovered separately and build the HA through DNAC. So with that, I'll close this video. Hope this one will help you to form the uh, HA between WLCs. Thank you for watching.